all right so um, hello again <clears throat> but uh, we are going to start uh, by reviewing uh, overviewing workshop 10 and then after that we're gonna uh, get into milestone 5 and, and see how that is done and um, kind of give you a, um, an overview of what is supposed to be done for uh, these two uh, works to be done and completed uh, before we do anything any kind of specific question that you want to ask well let me just start my poll <sighs> any questions before we begin any concerns all right so uh, for workshop 10 what you need to do is the very first thing that you need to do is to actually uh, read the code like go through the code that is given to you there's a collection it's the most important one and a read write employee student and car so these are the things that you have to go through one by one so um, uh, let me just bring these up so it's car collection a read write um, employee oops I dropped it somewhere that I'm not supposed to there you go employee and uh, collection car collection read write employee car collection read write employee and student and up so that's the student there we go so these are the things that we need to actually <laughs> look at and see how it's how it's done uh, so uh, for um, all these uh, uh, classes as you see are are children of read and write car uh, employee and student and collection is uh, um, a template class written that it's like a dynamic array that we have written in the class but and it resizes itself and everything but uh, instead of having uh, an operator equal that we set and we resize it automatically it has the the add feature that it actually adds to the to the element as it goes through so so uh, collection over here the job of collection is to keep it it's like literally a dynamic array so uh, that is holding everything in it uh, go through it and understand how the code works uh, car is a read writable car out of a car and um, employee is a read writable uh, employee uh, and student is a read writable uh, student so um, what you need to do is to uh, write one um, uh, application uh, one uh, series of uh, template functions that actually uh, work with these instances now what these things are what uh, uh, functionality you have to implement I'll go through them one by one again as you see all these things follow the exact same uh, uh, structure and it's exact same hierarchy because they are all from read write so all these pure virtuals are created and, and um, they are following uh, uh, the same pattern so um, getting rid of all those uh, let's actually uh, talk about uh, search and list the module that you're supposed to create um, I'll start. So this, you are actually four uh, te function templates you're supposed to write. These four function templates are going to be. Uh, I'm going to start with the easiest one, uh, which is um, comparing to so size change, comparing two collections. So essentially, you are creating um, a template that receives a collection type, and then uh, checks uh, and makes sure that the uh, left argument of so it's, it receives two collection types this function template 
uh, a reference to a collection uh, of templated objects and another one so it receives these two collection types and um, um, what happens is that uh, uh, it compares the size of uh, the left one to the right one so if the size of the left one is bigger than the size of the right one um, that's uh, um, how it uh, uh, that returns true otherwise it's going to return false and um, the example for it could be uh, if I have just to to show an example to, uh, for you to see how how it's done so if I have add just to see how we uh, uh, create a, a template of uh, a templated class how do we create a template function that creates a template class templated class I'm just going to give you a very simple example over here so um, if I for example um, what do I write over here so prg.cpp so uh, say over here I have a class uh, foo and this class of foo of mine has an integer data in it and public and in here I'm gonna say uh, uh, void display and we're gonna go see out data so that's my that's my class if I convert it to a template this is gonna be a template class of type name type and this foo is gonna actually display a type okay and say I have over here f uh, foo uh, type uh, the data and this is gonna set the data to whatever I have data uh, to the data so it's actually setting the data and that's my class if I have something like this and I want to uh, for example uh, uh, create a uh, a function that the function is supposed to uh, compare the values of two data so um, how do I uh, put this thing so it can work so let's say over here I have uh, mm, something like let me just um, give you a good example let's say I want to write a function that displays any type of this uh, templated class so what I'm gonna write over here is gonna be template template type name type so this is supposed to show any type of foo so I'm gonna call it void display foo and the display foo of mine is gonna receive a foo of type type reference foo and in here I'm gonna call it const and in here I'm gonna say foo dot display um, display and I have to make this const there you go so so essentially what happens over here is that when you want to when I have a class template that is uh, as follows and I want to have a specific function that works on many different types of this template I can simply create the type and as I am passing the object over here I can actually pass the type of object that I want therefore if I have something like this so foo int i and I'm going to put over here 10 and foo double D and I'm gonna put over here 20.20 20. if I have these two objects and I want to display these two objects using the function I can now simply say display foo and in here I'm gonna put I and in here I'm gonna say display foo and I'm gonna put here D and because uh, the type that is being passed over here is uh, of foo type automatically it's going to receive the proper one and so on and so forth so we understand what happens over here are we okay with this so as I was mentioning the uh, the function that you are writing over here that is called size check it passes two collection classes with uh, similar type 
into the function and then returns true if the size of the left one is the greater than the size of the right one and you can do this because the collection has uh, a method size and that's that the other one is uh, list uh, array elements list array elements we have done it many times so essentially uh, what you do you uh, but the difference is that this list array elements receives a title receives receives the array and the size and one by one goes through the elements of the array and puts uh, a, a, a row number beside it and prints the uh, uh, any type of array uh, using a template function uh, and I think that's very clear we have done this so many times in class are we okay with this all right now we're gonna go to check the check function is a template type that receives two type names one is the type of the collection that it's receiving and the second one is the key type which is going to check to see if certain elements of the array actually holds that key type so essentially what it does the the function receives uh, an array of templated objects so essentially it receives the uh, the um, <clears throat> a collection type okay but of type of array uh, but uh, of, of type of pointer then what it does it checks and receives a uh, the index from which it has to test it to see if that's the one and receives a value that is supposed to compare to that one so essentially it checks the index of the collection type uh, being equal to the value that is coming in returns true if it is equal and false if it's not using the uh, operator that it has the assignment operator that it has um, and that is that. Any question about this? And the last one that is kind of a uh, the complicated one is the one it can't say complicated but it's uh, kind of does a search and what it does it um, this search accepts uh, four arguments uh, the the template has two types in it it has a collection type and it has a type name that is the key so in the array of templated so what, what uh, uh, and it receives four arguments the first one is an array of templated objects so it receives the uh, an array of collection type then it receives an integer that represents the number of elements in the array of objects so how what is the size of the the array it receives uh, a key that it's supposed to go through a loop in here and check one by one check one by one to see if they are the same then uh, it receives another reference of a collection that is going to actually put the values in it so essentially what happens is that uh, if it looks for each collection uh, element that it has if it's a match it's going to insert it to this collection and therefore that collection will get all the values that are searched over there and finds out what the um, essentially finds out what the searches are and if you look at your milestone 5 it is we have an object like that that you are going to insert the searches into it too so um, uh, that becomes kind of a, um, an, a real application of what you are writing in here um, so again um, th yeah, this function goes through a loop uh, uh, through uh, one by one through every single element of the first array up to the size and checks that element to see if it's a match you can check the, and you, you're going to use this one if there is a match it adds that that element of the array to this collection and therefore the collection at the end uh, the last collection will actually uh, the last argument will hold the search results of the whole thing are we okay with this and this would be our workshop 10 oh obviously uh, you're going to modify the main you're going to modify the main and call every single thing so 
you're gonna modify the main in here and call each function over here as you see list it's gonna call call it accordingly and search call it and call it and you keep going like that so every single thing that you have written you're gonna call it in here properly and the function is the, the your main is gonna work um, so um, yeah that's it um, uh, any questions down to here any questions Ahmed go ahead um. <clears throat> Uh, how, excuse me. Uh, how many? How much uh, detail do you need for the uh, documentation? For, for the documentation of each uh, of each uh, function, I of, think it said to do that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's there isn't there is no how much. It's exactly what it needs. So you have to check and see exactly what is the need. Like when you're writing a when you're writing the function, take a look at it. And just simply say this one needs this and that and that. So you just write what it. Oh, needs. yeah. So it could be like one sentence each. It doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as it covers all the things that it needs. One sentence, four sentences. If there are four things that it has to support, you can put it in four point forms or one in one sentence. As long okay. as it explains what it is, it's okay. you can be as short or long as you want. But okay. please don't write the story of life. Okay, small ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Okay. Okay, anything else? All right. So that was the the workshop's review. Let me just stop.